வணக்கம் வெல்கம் பேக் டு அவர் கோர்ஸ் ஆன் எஸ்ஏபி ப்ரொடக்ஷன் பிளானிங் வி ஆர் டிஸ்கஸிங் மெட்டீரியல் ரிக்யர்மெண்ட்ஸ் பிளானிங் வில் கண்டினியூ த டாபிக் இன் திஸ் செஷன் ஸோ வாட் வி டிஸ்கஸ் ஸோ ஃபார் ஸோ வி டிஸ்கஸ் அபவுட் ஓவர் வியூ ஆஃப் ப்ரொடக்ஷன் பிளானிங் இன் பிஸ்னஸ் அண்ட் இன் எஸ்ஏபி அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்டிங் ஆஃப் டிஃப்ரெண்ட் ப்ரொடக்ஷன் டைப்ஸ் அண்ட் ஆல்சோ வி டிஸ்கஸ் ஆர்கனைஸ் ஸ்ட்ரக்சர் இன் எஸ்ஏபி ஓவர் வியூ ஆஃப் மாசரேட்டர் ரெக்யர்ட் டு செட் எஸ்ஏபி பிபி and also we discuss various parameters and basic and purchasing views and so far we discuss in mrp one view mrp group mrp type and reorder point we also discuss how to calculate the reorder point automatically now let us discuss the planning time frames so what is planning time frames planning time frames helps to define a range within which material requirement planning should not create or delete any procurement proposal there is a planning time frames so why should we do it for example if uh, there is a pr generated or planning uh, planned order generated if mrp is running on daily basis daily basis then system will keep on producing new planned order new pr or it may amend the quantity based on the remaining situation based on the situation as on the date it will keep on changing it right because there are some companies which are running the uh, mrp on daily basis so at that time if they create these things on disturbing them the planners and buyers will go mad right because the requirements are changed yesterday they saw one planned order for 15 numbers today it is becoming 18 numbers or 12 numbers they will be not be understanding what is happening right so um, there should be some time which has to be frozen so for that the planning time frames will be used planning time frames will be used along with some mrp types which are called the firm mrp type we discussed in the previous session what is what are the mrp types the firm mrp types like uh, the pd m0 there is no firming happening but in p1 p2 p3 m1 m2 m3 firm types will happen so please use different types of these mrp types what are there understand them and do some analysis okay okay theoretically we can tell them but when you run them and see only you can understand how exactly they are behaving so to understand how the firming is happening let me explain with some illustration so let us take there is a requirement of 10 numbers within planning time frames which was already there in which five numbers planned order generated in previous mrp run but now there is another five numbers mrp has to be created how system will create in different mrp type sorry mrp firming types when you have firm type mrp sorry firm type 1 how this is will happen so here in the firm type 1 automatic firming will happen within the procurement proposal I mean the planning time frame is there within that period what is the planning order that will be getting formed please see the story here a new proposal will be generated after planning time frame so that's why we will see another five numbers here when you take firm type 2 the firming will happen but after planning time frame there will not be any new proposal that is a firm type 2 so firm type 1 and firm type 2 the firming is happening within planning time frame but new requirement is generated in type 1 in type 2 there is no new requirement generated let us continue with the same uh, illustration in form type 3 there is no firming is done but new requirement is generated in type form type 4 firming is also not done new requirement also not generated so this is what the form type 1 2 3 and 4 so use the different mrp types how they are behaving with these these things uh, have a clear understanding then apply them to your business accordingly okay this will be very useful because when there is a continuous change you know when people are seeing it's very much uh, changes happening within the organization within the proposal what they saw yesterday is not that today these confusions can be avoided please note another point this is not applicable for reorder planning this is only for the periodic based planning and also the uh, lot size based planning now let us discuss what is the planning cycle planning cycle is the cycle in which planning run is performed for a material right so everybody will have a different planning cycle so according to that we can define it and take it what is the purpose of it for example if a vendor is delivering a metal on every wednesday and so you should also give your proposals your delivery date is on wednesday because there are some suppliers who are the big people that they will be supplying only on specific date they will not agree to whatever the date you give it they will give only on that date right their specified date so why should you get confused we can adjust our system according to them so that our supply is ensured so we can define the planning cycle and attach to this material so that for these material system will propose the requirements aligning with the supplier's supply and date and also for uh, some big businesses like uh, not a i can't say it is a big business the natural business like it is 
some food processing or uh, fruit juice companies in which they can uh, procure the metal only in some species seasons you no know, in which year the period is coming that period can be de defined and the planning cycle can be entered there so at that time system will propose the procurement proposals and uh, mrp controller is a person who is responsible for the material which is planned in the plant the person who is assigned as mrp controller should take care of ensuring the right parameters for the material regular follow up of materials improvement possibilities to reduce inventory and save the time available no to usage or customer that's what you should do right you should do the some proper analysis and uh, you should keep on working on how to improve the service so when the service is improving your sales will improve of course productivity also improve cost also will come down the mrp controller should be based on the position or responsibility rather than just a person individual person name should not be there like mrp controller for example a person who is taking care of some specific group of finished goods can be one mrp controller a person who is taking care of specific components can be one specific mrp controller like that it can be there and when we are running some similar analysis reports you know some mrp analysis or inventory analysis mrp controller is the important selection parameter so in this session we discuss about planning time frames planning cycle mrp controller in the next session we'll discuss different parameters under the lot size data in which we have minimum lot size maximum lot size maximum stock level uh, rounding value rounding profile those things we'll discuss in the next session please give your feedback to improve the flow and contents as uh, i uh, telling repeatedly in our sessions please recommend our sub channel to uh, your friends and colleagues let them also subscribe and to get the benefit of this knowledge sharing meanwhile please visit our website www.vgrowin.com to know about our service thank you all see you in next session bye